Hello and welcome to the Dustin Eric Podcast Show brought to you by Mimosa Networks. Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Eric. Today we're on episode number 28. Uh, 28 already, huh? 28? I thought you skipped a few, but um, I was I, sure I don't think we numbered some, but, but 28 out of the main series, I suppose. Uh, anyway, we're talking about A5X today. We're going to compare it to the A5 and the A5C and kind of tell you when and where and how to deploy A5X compared to the other two products. So we'll start right out with the uh, Mimosa A5X uh, features. So Eric, without looking at your screen, what are the features you can think of on the A5X? Oh, it's a dual port, two by two. Uh, it's, it's got, uh, oh, it, it has SRS uh, and GPS sync now. It has uh, GPS sync. Yeah. But it's so little. Where do you put the GPS? Guess what? We uh, were able to take a small a GPS puck and squeeze it inside right on the upper part of the inside of the shell. Cool. Yep. And it works. So what else do you got over there? Uh, 700 meg uh, aggregate. Uh, with the, with dual portability, you can connect it to just a, a host of uh, antennas, including our own N545X2. Um, and it's uh, IP... 60, IP67 mm-hmm. uh, rated, so I think they did a dunk test at a, I don't know, a meter or so for X minutes and so forth. Uh, LEDs on the front of the uh, the unit. Uh, in SRS mode still, we're retaining about 44 clients in, in that uh, spectrum reuse mode. Uh, what's the uh, 70-something, I think, in Wi-Fi interrupt? So 66. 66! <laughs> so it's still a decent number for 66. Wi-Fi interrupt mode. There you go. Uh, also, the cool thing is it's uh, a range of power between 24 and 56 volt. Yep, yep, and uh, low current draw, especially in uh, transmit, which means uh, that's great for solar applications and battery backup systems. And so I think that was a request, and we'd like to see that as well here, uh, you know, in the uh, in, uh, United States and right. uh, South America and so forth. All right, yep. so next page here, usability. So... Uh, we have all three products here, the A5, the A5C, and the A5X. Um, the A5, the A5C, and the A5X, uh, in my opinion, are all good for micropops. Um, I know that uh, normally marketing just says A5, A5C for the micropop, but let me explain why I think the A5X would be good for a micropop solution. It's a two-port antenna, or it's a two-port radio, meaning you can go to a two-port Omni for uh, yep. micropop. You can, it can go, go 360 to on that. Yep. any type of two-port five-gig uh, antenna and uh, do the same, if not better, than other uh, solutions, uh, other vendors that have two-port radios that do the same thing. All right, um, so you can... You can uh, you can treat it uh, just like you just treat it like it's an A5 product, so it can it's all good except it cannot be used as a client radio. Other right. than that, uh, it's it's small and uh, cost effective. And then of course the uh, the so. A5C and A5X are both tower radios as well. Um, the A5X could go to uh, a dish antenna. It could go to a sector antenna. Again, well, it's a two port radio, so it can go to pretty much anything. Flat panels if you need to uh, do a sector at 90 degrees, or you've got something a little broader or narrower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just keep in mind, though, that it is only a a point-to-multipoint access point. So it it can't act as a point-to-point radio or a a client radio. Right, right. Sad face. Now, can it, uh, is it compatible, will it clip onto any particular uh, antennas? I think it can. It can, but (gasps) you're ruining my show because we're talking about that at the end. My way ahead of You are way ahead. Okay. Um, So it's uh, highest capacity uh, per site. Uh, high client capacity. Uh, again, it, it will handle 44 clients SRS mode, just like the other two radios will. Uh, fiber fast speeds. Uh, so it's up to, like Eric said, 700 megabit aggregate. aggregate yep. Um, on the front. So here's a comparison chart, uh, RF and physical comparison between the three products. So the A5 is uh, the cylindrical radio. Yep, it's yep. got the four 90 degree uh, flat panels in there. End connectors because of the size. And so when we scale down to a small form factor like the A5X, you're looking at uh, SMAs. Or, and and uh, you're talking about the A5C now. It, yeah, the, the, the A5X. No, no. You go to SMAs. I was talking about the A5, and then you said end connectors. You yeah. mean the A5C. A5C. Yep, yeah. yep, connectorized. You skipped ahead just a bit, but that's okay. Am I still skipping? You're still skipping. I'm just skipping. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Are you, are you like a record? <laughs> you you just got scratches all over you. Uh, so, uh, again, the A5 built-in internal 
omni type antenna with four yeah. sectors, A5C with the N type connectors on the bottom, yep. and then the A5X with the RP SMAs, which is similar to the C5C. Yeah, the, there's a, uh, lots of those out there, a the big family of uh, RP SMAs. So the biggest difference between the A5X and the A5C and A5 is that it's only a, a 2x2 MIMO radio because right. it's a two-port radio. Instead of a 4x. Four, four Don't let that discourage you, though, because, again, it's more compatible with all the other antenna options out on the market today. And we'll see the uh, – it's just a slight uh, 3, B, 3 dB uh, reduction in uh, TX output power. Right. Yep, yep. But much lower on power draw. 9.5 watts, whereas the uh, oh, the eight, the other access points are 25 watts. So, yeah. so much much better for uh, powered uh, battery sites. Mm -hmm. um, and then it plays well together with uh, the <laughs> N545X2, and of course the C5X client radios. Do you have an N5X2? Uh, I mean an N545X2 I in do. here. Here's our X2. Dual. Uh, Dual port. Oh, that brings us to a point. Mm -hmm. You need to have the proper uh, cable connection. Which is? Yeah, so you go to an RP SMA uh, and do N male uh, jumpers, and that'll get you connected. Now, uh, when you take the A5X, it, it doesn't. Does, there's no provisions to have it clip on to this, this, this uh, our Mimosa panel antenna. Uh, so you'll have to mount that with a with the a pair of. Uh, 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 pull straps or uh, uh, please note that the a5x does not come with hose clamps you'll have to provide your own mm. how about a poe with it does not come with the nope. poe either That's you'll right. have to provide your own okay just but bare, bare bones it's 24 to 56 so you have plenty of options to choose from okay yep um also the a5x plays well with others so this is the point that i've been making the whole time is that it doesn't just go to most antennas Actually, RF Elements has a, a twist port adapter that they've developed for the A5X and should mm -hmm. be available at the same time the A5X comes out, which is? Q1. Sometime in Q1. Sometime, sometime in, in Q1, so up to what, uh, late March or so. And, mm -hmm. of course, other products that we won't name, but I'll show off here anyway. As you can see, here's a, a common... Um, 17 dBi 5 gig antenna with the A5X that's clipped right onto the back of it. So it basically the A5X is rocket compatible. So anything rocket antenna type mm -hmm. from a specific vendor that I can't name on the show, <clears throat> ubiquity, um, you can just clip this baby right in so you can easily upgrade your network um, and keep the same antennas up until you're ready to upgrade to something better. So if I'm looking at the uh, variety of other uh, third-party antennas, and uh, and I, I'm wondering about my coax jumpers in the box, uh, I think it's just going to be the unit itself. The A5X will just be solo in a little box. Yeah, there's right? no cables with no it. No cables. So you'll have to get the right gender or the right uh, jumpers, unless that uh, third-party antenna is, is ready with the correct uh, like polarity. Like these particular ones. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Um, that's it for this show. Uh, thanks for watching A5X Comparison uh, podcast here. Um, please follow up with this podcast at mimosa.co if you have any ideas or have any questions, need any help. Uh, or you can contact us at support. So uh, we'll, we'll see you next there. time on the next yep, episode. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dustin. No problem. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe or follow button to stay up to date with our latest podcast which will be available on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud.